Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about line of best fit. So we talked a little bit about trend lines yesterday in our data sets. And um, so we're just going to talk a little bit about line of best fit, how to calculate it. And then um, tomorrow we're going to use some technology and like truly calculate the line of best fit. Um, we're just going to kind of estimate where it would be today. Okay. So uh, if you recall yesterday, talk about these scatter plots and let's say we had something like this, right? We said that this would have a positive relationship or a positive association. Um, right. So if I wanted to make a line of best fit here, um, two things I always want to look for. Um, I want it to match my slope and I want it to have points above the line and below the line. So, you know, something like this. Now, what we're going to do today is that same idea, only now we want to use, we want to actually write the equation of that line. Um, so, if I want to write the equation of the line, we're going to do this in slope intercept form, you know, cause lines, and that's obviously the best choice. So, um, let's say you had a graph and, um, I think yesterday we said, um, hours of sleep, and uh, grade on a test. So let's see, um, we'll go by I guess we'll make this accurate because most of you probably aren't getting eight hours of sleep, huh? And we'll say those are tens. Now, typically with a problem like this, you're going to have the data set. All right. So you're going to know exactly where those points are. Um, with obviously me just drawing this on, on my whiteboard at home, we're not going to know exactly where those points are, but we're just going to, we're just going to estimate. All right. And, um, that's one of the things about these lines of best fit or trend lines, if we want to write the equation, we are not all going to have the same exact answer. Um, we're kind of estimating the equation of this line. So our y-intercept should be similar. Our slope should be similar. Um, but they're not going to be exactly unless we pick the exact same two points. So let's say um, our data looks kind of like this. And, um, you know, this kid slept for four hours and he got a 62 and a couple kids slept for five hours and these kids slept six hours a little over six and this these are the sevens somewhere in the sevens and the eights we don't want to get above a hundred but that kid who slept eight hours, he got a hundred or she not discriminated. All right. So, um, here's my, my, uh, scatter plot it has a positive relationship and I kind of want to make my line a best fit. So what I'm going to do is I kind of, this is kind of how I go through this. We're going to need two points off of this line in order to, um, find the equation of this line of best fit. So I kind of lightly draw my line where I think it's going to go, you know, like, uh, it kind of looks like that. Sure. It does. Right. There's points above it, points below it. looks like it's matching the slope. Pretty good. So once I have a kind of good idea of that, then I'm going to look for, I want it to kind of go through two sets of points. Well, I kind of, I'm going to darken these ones for you. It goes through those two points pretty well. 
So I'm going to use those two points to find my equation of this line. So again, if I had the data set, I would just kind of look. That one looks like it's six hours of sleep. Maybe it's a little bit above 70. We'll call it 671. And then this one over here, it's a little more than, uh, we'll call it seven. And it's probably like an 88. So I'm just going to use those two points. And I got them, again, they have to be good in your line of best fit. So I kind of draw the line in first, see, hey, which two points would this kind of cross? Um, if it doesn't cross two points, kind of move it around until it does. Just try to keep it so that the slope matches and um, there's points above, points below. So now that I have my two points, I'm just going to write an equation in, in slope-intercept form. And this should be something that we already know how to do, should be, hopefully, um, because we did it already. So if I want to find the slope, I'm going to go y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that's going to give me, uh, let's see, 17 over 1. Okay. So my slope here is 17. And then if I want to find my y-intercept, I'm just going to pick one of those points. Um, let's see, you're kind of out of space, huh? Let's, uh, I'm going to move it over here. Whoop. So I'm going to pick one of those points. y equals mx plus b. The y value in my point I picked was 71. We just found the slope was 17. The x value in the point I picked was 6. And we don't know b. So 71, 6 times 17 is going to be 60, 102. And then subtract 102 from both sides. And you're going to do really bad on this test. <laughs> okay. So let's see. That's going to be negative 31, I think. So I found my slope. I found my y-intercept. Those are the two things I need. So my equation of this line is going to be y equals 17x minus 31. So this is the actual line of what we're going to call best fit, right? It's not necessarily the line you draw. You want to be able to write the equation of that line. Let me see if I can focus there. There we go. So, um, and then you want to be able to describe, hey, what is this line actually talking about? So what's my slope talking about here? Well, as, as these people on their test slept an, an hour more, they did 17% better on their test. Now, uh, in case you're watching this uh, and you don't know me, I completely made up this data. <laughs> so that's probably not true and you're like, oh, I'll just get that one extra hour of sleep and do 17% better. Um, it's probably more like five, I don't know, something like that. But, um, but that's just kind of what our slope is representing in this problem, right? So this is saying that each hour of sleep someone gets, they're going to do 17% better. What is this, our y-intercept telling us in this equation? Well, our y-intercept, we know that's a starting point. That's an initial value. So in this case, if we're talking about an initial value, that means if I didn't sleep at all, I'm going to get a negative 31% on this test. Now, that brings up a really interesting point, uh, which we're going to talk a little bit about tomorrow, about does this actually make sense? Well, you can't get negative 31% on a test. Um, so maybe this trend line would only work for a certain domain, right? Um, as you can see, all of our data, everyone slept four hours or more. So maybe for a, 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 a rain, I'm sorry, a domain that's bigger than four, but also can this trend continue, right? If I sleep for a whole day, am I going to get a thousand percent on this test 
No, it doesn't make any sense. So there's it's capped. Uh, the range is also capped. So um, that's going to kind of limit our domain a little bit. So this this uh, trend data, this trend line that we came up with, is going to work, but only for a certain, you know, specific amount of time. Um, we can also talk about when we're doing this line of best fit, um, and it's kind of good to know, like, is it a strong correlation or is it a weak correlation or a strong association or a weak association? Strong would mean that the points are really close together in here. Um, and this one, pretty strong, right? And we're going to look a little bit about that tomorrow. A weak relationship, there's still a relationship, but those points are spread out a little bit farther. So... Um, you know, there's not a, there's not a strict, like, Hey, look how close these are going up 17 over one up 17 over one. Instead, it's like, Oh, some of these are going up, you know, a little bit, but they're all kind of increasing. So it's still a positive relationship. It's just a weak one. Um, but that's kind of the idea. I'm just going to find two points on my line, find the slope, find the y intercept, write the equation on the line, and then on your homework, just like on this one, we want to know what are those numbers actually talking about? What's our slope talking about? What's our y-intercept talking about? Tomorrow, you're going to do these ones by hand. I think I only gave you like four or five for homework. Um, so you're going to have to graph them, kind of like how I did, graph it, find the one that's the best situation, use those two points, find your line. Um, Tomorrow, I'm going to show you how a computer can do this for you, uh, which is really, really nice. And then talk about some of the values that they're going to give us and a little bit vocab heavy and talk a little bit about that. All right. Have fun trying those out. This is pretty cool stuff. We'll see you guys uh, on the flip side.